and it is close to 100 degrees here. This heat basically gets trapped down in this valley and it doesn't leave and we are finding that out the hard way right now. Jeez. Rough terrain. That was a scene from the television show Rock the Park. Host Jack Stewart and Colton Smith explore national parks, going through every extreme weather that you can think of their journey across America. And now they want you to join in giving your 100 reasons to rock the park. They head out to one of 59 national parks in the United States. It's a campaign to celebrate the National Park Service's 100th birthday. They're joining me live this morning from New York. Guys, thanks for being with us. So graceful at that national park. Where was that where you were feeling that heat? That was Death Valley. And you want to talk about extreme weather, it doesn't get any more extreme than Death Valley. And it's hot there, and it's the lowest place in the continent. So all of that creates some really intense heat, and there's not much water there, which we found out. Yeah, they, that's true. Someone should have told you that before they went. Um, St. Croix and also Denali, what, what did you experience in those two parks that was pretty extreme? Well, okay, so up in Denali, you're high up in the Alpine in a place where there's only ice, snow, and rock. And that kind of creates some issues because we were up there trying to summit this mountain and first the fog rolls in and then it starts just dumping snow. Yeah, Denali is one of those places where you go out for a day and you plan to be out there for possibly two weeks because oh, wow. the weather can change so quickly and just completely alter your plans. Okay, so how many of the parks have you guys been to and can you even pick a favorite or is that like asking, yeah. you know, your favorite uh, snack? Oh. Well, we've been to probably over 40 parks right now, and that's, you know, it sounds like a lot, but there's over 400 of these things. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess if we have to pick a favorite, it goes for sentimental reasons. We uh, both went to college in Montana, so Glacier National Park up there has a lot of memories and has become probably our favorite park. Yeah, it, Glacier is just tough to beat. It's, it's a place that every time I go back, you just you get emotional because yeah. it's your first. It's my first national park I ever <laughs> went to. You always remember your first, right? Um, exactly. But I'm sure that the memories. I'm sure the memories from Glacier National Park in college are a little bit different than you guys are uh, having now. Let's talk <laughs> about our viewers. Maybe someone who's going to visit a national park for the first time. How do you prepare? You go to the website. What should you do? You know, honestly, it really all depends on what you want to do while you're there. It's one of the great things about the parks. You can see so much from just behind the wheel of a car, or you can go off the beaten path and go out for, I mean, months if you want to and really immerse yourself in the wilderness. So yeah, I think you start on the website, make sure you have enough water, especially if you're in a place <laughs> like Death Valley, and just prep, you know, considering the place that you're about to go explore. Yeah. All right, guys, minor detail. It is called Death Valley. I mean, I should have given you a, a little bit of a hint of uh, how to prepare for that one, right, guys? All right, yeah. we appreciate yeah. it. <laughs> hey, Jack Stewart and Colin Smith, thanks for joining us. And don't forget, hashtag find your park to discover more about national parks. And also, once you post hashtag find your park, this little park ranger emoji will pop up once you post it. Jen, I, it was, it's really cute. It was really fun to do.